So in this question it says, um, in this classic example of momentum conservation, we'll see a rifle recoils when it is fired. A marksman holds a three kilograms rifle loosely so that we can ignore any horizontal external forces acting on the rifle bullet system. As he fires a bullet of mass of five grams horizontally with a speed of 300 meters per second, they're asking us what is the recoil speed of the rifle and what are the final kinetic energies of the bullet and the rifle. So before anything happens, we have the rifle and the bullet together, both at rest, which means that we have a momentum of zero. Then, as the bullet um, separates from the rifle, as it is fired, we still have a momentum of zero. And the thing is that we don't have any external forces, so it's an isolated system. So we can say that both the initial momentum and the final momentum are going to be equal to zero. So as we continue to this problem, we have the five times 10 to the negative third of grams, of grams because this part right here should be grams. The mass of the bullet is grams, and as we turn it, as we convert it into kilograms, it's going to be five times ten to the third, negative third. So, the mass of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet is five times ten to the negative third grams, times the velocity of three hundred meters per second. Then, we add up the mass of the rifle times its velocity, but we don't know the velocity, so we have to solve for the final velocity on the direction of the rifle. So we have um, 1.5 plus the 3 multiplied by the final velocity of the rifle is going to be equal to 0. So we just divide negative 1.5 divided by 3. That should give us negative 0 0.5 meters per second for the final velocity of the rifle. So to find the final kinetic energies, we will use the equation kinetic energy being equal to 1 half times mass times velocity squared. So for the bullet, we have 1 half times 5 to times 10 to a negative third times the velocity of 300 meters per second. That should give us around 225 joules. In regards with the rifle, we have 1 half times 3, the mass, times 0 0.5 negative of the velocity squared. And that should give us a kinetic energy of 0 0.5. 375 joules and the kinetic energy for the rifle is going to be positive as we square the negative so negative times negative positive and in this case it's normal that the bullet has a higher kinetic energy because the bullet is moving far much more farther than the rifle when it is fired